The great thing about Atlantic City is there are so many different attractions in such a small space. Atlantic City insiders will make sure getting from place to place doesn't have to be a headache. Most of the casinos can be found along the boardwalk, so casino hopping is a great way to spend the night if you have plans in different hotels. If you're not afraid of some exercise, a short walk will usually get you to where you're going, plus you can enjoy that ocean breeze. If there's no way your heels are going to get you to the next casino, but you want to stay on the boardwalk for the view, flag down a rolling chair. This doesn't mean one of those office desk chairs. Imagine being pushed in your very own chariot to the locale of your choice. Prices do vary, but they average about a dollar a block to about 10 to 15 dollars for longer trips. So when you find a chair pusher, be sure to ask ahead for the cost. If there are other chair pushers around, they might even try to underbid each other. One company, Ocean Rolling Chairs, has tour rates, if you're into that sort of thing. You can go $25 for a half hour ride and $40 for an hour. The ride includes round trips and stops at any shops that catch your attention. If you're looking for something with a little more horsepower but cheap, grab a ride on a jitney. These vehicles look like small buses and can fit a pretty big group of people. You can hop on one for about $2.25 and get dropped off right outside the casinos. Just let the driver know where you're headed and pull the rope above your seat before you get to the stop. Pay attention to the color codes on the Jitney stop signs. You'll find them on the corners of Pacific Avenue, the block that runs parallel to the boardwalk. Make sure your Jitney is headed in the right direction and hop on. If you're looking to venture a little farther or you don't feel like waiting outside for a Jitney, hail a cab at the front of hotel entrances. Usually some will be sitting there waiting for passengers, but sometimes you'll have to ask for the bellhop to call one for you. Luckily there are tons in the area. Just make sure what you're getting into is a taxi with a meter in it instead of a black sedan. Those sedans could end up costing you closer to $50 to get into the next casino. So always check with the driver before you get in the car about how much the trip will cost you. The maximum rate if you stay in the city in a cab is just $13 for up to five people, but some companies have limo vans that carry bigger groups of people for just $3 a head. If all else fails, the casinos have plenty of parking available for a flat rate, usually around five or ten bucks, no matter how long you stay inside the hotel. If you plan on traveling to another one, ask for a receipt so you don't have to pay at your next casino.